Are you struggling with your forehand approach shot? Well, let's fix it. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna give you three simple solutions when hitting approach shots going forward. So, getting a short ball can be very frustrating for people because they're not sure, you know, the footwork to use or what spin to put on the ball. So, I'm gonna give you some options. So, the first type of approach shot I want you to be able to hit is an underspin approach shot. Right, this is, you know, people think back in, in the, oh, this is the olden days. This is when, you know, Jimmy Connors was playing tennis. Well, look, Jimmy Connors still holds the record for the most wins on tour, right? So it, it's a good approach shot. When you hit an underspin approach shot, think of high, medium, high, and you're going to come back up to your non-hitting hand. So when I turn, both hands are on my right, since I'm right-handed, and then I come back up. I've got cones there, and you can just pick up cones at your local hardware store and just have them as targets, which is exactly what I did. And you try to hit those targets. And you can go down the line, you can go across court. You're not looking to hit a ton of backspin. It's it, a ton of slice and getting really high RPM. It works in theory because, you know, in the comments section people say, but what about tons of slice because it keeps the ball low? Sure, except it's very hard to calculate and the, the one out of five that you put a ton of slice on that actually goes in, you'll win the point, but you're hemorrhaging points to find that one out of five. You're losing too many points. So rather than thinking a ton of backspin, just think a moderate amount of backspin and you want to hit the approach shot to that cone. You can see it's super accurate. <laughs> like I'm, I'm happy that I'm hitting my target. And you can do the same thing going cross court. Now when you go cross court, you have to follow it as you're coming forward. So you want to follow your shot when you go in and that just bisects where they can hit their passing shot on the next shot. So use the underspin approach shot. And actually, I'm making this video because of what somebody said in the comments section maybe about two weeks ago. I made a slice backhand approach shot or underspin backhand approach shot uh, uh, video. And they said, well, can we do this on the forehand? And, I, and this is in response to that person. So yes, you can absolutely do this. Another benefit to this is your opponents don't typically see underspin approach shots, right? So top spin, the ball, when it bounces, it kicks up a little bit. So the underspin does keep the ball a little lower and sometimes uh, the ball checks up, sometimes the ball skids. So it just gives your opponent a different look and it can easily force them into an error. So the second approach shot is going to be what I call a true approach shot. This is where your hitting the approach shot and it is using what I call approach shot footwork, which is you step with your right foot if you're hitting on the right side of your body, then you hit, then your left foot. So the last step you take prior to hitting the ball is on the side of the body where you're hitting. Since I'm hitting on my right side, the last step is with my right foot, I hit and then I keep going. What that allows me to do, and this is typically used when you're running faster and a farther distance up to the ball and you gotta keep running through the shot. The beauty of this is it makes it very easy to run through the shot. Now there is a hop step, which we're gonna talk about next, uh, but this is stepping last with the foot on the side of the body where you're hitting, which is the footwork I just used on the underspin, by the way. So now we're gonna hit top spin, but it's gonna be the top, the uh, approach shot footwork. So I'm gonna hit top spin, and the last step I take prior to hitting, and then I'll, I'll hit on the slinger bag. The last step I take is on the side of the body where I'm hitting. I'm hitting on my right side, so the last step is with my right foot. My last step is with my right, and that just allows me to seamlessly move through the ball because I guess my arms and legs moving in the opposite directions, which is, which is exactly how I run. And then the last one is the front foot hop. This is typically not done when you're moving very fast. And what's nice about this is you really get to lean in and this is typically a ball that you're gonna look to hit harder, right? You come in, you kind of slow down a little bit and you can press off that. If you lean in on your front foot, what happens just like hockey, just like bowling, when you step in on your front foot, your back leg wants to kick back. And because of that, then you're needing to hop in order to not fall on your face. So when you do this, it can, it can typically be on a higher ball. So this is typically on a higher ball where you're gonna slow down and then you hop on that front foot. You're looking to kind of let the ball simmer a little bit, let the ball settle down. You're not running very fast. You're gonna lean in, pound it, 
hop on the front foot because as you swing, your back foot kicks behind you, just like in ice hockey in a slap shot. So that's why you have to hop, otherwise you'll, you'll smack your face against the ground. You hop on the front foot and then you go forward. I'll hit one cross court and then I'll hit on the slinger bag. Higher ball, step in, and I go. All right, let's check it out on the slinger bag. So when you get a short ball on the forehand side, if the ball is low and you're running pretty fast to get there, you really have two options. You're gonna run through the shot, but use either an underspin approach shot, either cross court or down the line, and it's just high, medium high, with a little bit of backspin, use your volley grip, and then you can hit the top spin, and that's fine, but you gotta make sure the last step is on the side where you're hitting. So since I'm hitting on my right side, the last step I take is with my right foot. And then when you get the higher ball, let me get a ball here. When you get the higher ball and it's kind of slow, don't feel bad if you, you know, you're not doing the open stance and like just crushing it. And that's usually just falls apart for people. Try actually stepping in on the front foot. You're going to slow down a little bit. You're going to kind of come flatter into the back, still going up to your left hand but not a ton of spin, drop a little bit below the ball, go flatter through it, and you're gonna hop on that front foot and then follow it. So it looks like this. I'll go uh, cross court with this one. Oh! Can't end a video like that. There we go, and I even hit the cone. Great, I'll end the video like that. Work on your forehand approach shot. Work on the underspin approach and the topspin approach and the topspin hopping on the front foot. You work on these three approaches to the forehand approach shot, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.